Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook DNT, and we're back in Overcraft. Bam! All right, so um, this episode, this episode, we're gonna go caving in this episode. I'm gonna answer some questions that I got uh, from uh, you know the the viewers and whatnot. Uh, also, though, first off, first off, I am going to retire this sword, uh, even though it's not enchanted. Uh, basically, I'm done with it uh, because I have a new sword, uh, and we're gonna enchant that and hopefully get something. With the sword, I normally always hope for looting, uh, and a level 30 is pretty much it, so there's no need for anything special. Uh, so let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, looting. Ah, damn it. Alright, um, so I've been pretty unlucky with enchantments. I got a shovel. I got unbreaking three. That's pretty whack. So I retired the uh, other shovel. Alright, so let's see. Normal thing we'll do right now is check on the slime farm. Get us a couple of slimes. But yeah, so I got some questions and that's what I'm going to try to do while we uh, go on our little caving expedition. Also, I found a spawner. I'm not sure. I think it's a zombie spawner. But we're going to go and uh, investigate that. Uh, no slimes. Damn you, slimes. Alright, um, what was I going to say? <clears throat> Oh, also, also, I made uh, some improvements. See, this is a cave we're going to go to. Every time I came up to Slander, I kept hearing, you know, like, zombies. So I kind of opened it up and then found a cave. So it's going to be one of the caves that we're going to go into today. Uh, but yes, I made some adjustments to the Iron Golem farm. And um, over the course of, well, whenever I uploaded the last video to today, um, I have yet to see a golem spawn up there. <clears throat> like they've all spawned in the water pad so so far it is uh, a success I've placed this stuff here because like pigs and whatnot oh snap oh 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 Jesus no no all my drops no I have nothing no oh my god all right so that's an unfortunate set of events there oh man okay well uh, we will deal with this in a moment um, what are the what do you knock down the uh, signs oh man I had a ton of them too a ton of them okay well let me uh, fix this god damn it um yes but I have had uh, no issues with them spawning on the outside um, anymore so that's a freaking plus I'll show you guys <clears throat> the adjustments I made on it um, which were very very like slight adjustments at the end of it it's like I almost had it I almost had it and then I finally got it and uh, then I haven't had any of them spawning on the pads what I'll do is since I'm pretty pretty confident that I've fixed the issue with that um, if we see one if we see one of those bastards outside uh, of the water platform and up there I am gonna freaking TNT that whole thing no more iron golem farm for us if this setup fails me but yeah I'm pretty confident pretty confident in it I've um, I've uh, been on it for several days uh, and haven't had a single one up there god man stupid creeper why are you on fire block chill Man, that was a lot of iron, too. Alright. <clears throat> Man, where did he come from? See, I keep... I was telling the guys on the server that I think... That there's something with the plastic texture pack. In the sense that... Um, hold on, how high is this? Oh, yeah, I need glass. In the sense of... Um, it almost seems like the light levels aren't like appropriate. Because, see, this area, this was all well lit. Where did he come from? I don't know. And especially with it being daytime, I can see maybe he spawned over there and just kind of made his way down here. Oh, man, I'll have to fix all this in a few. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It almost seems like there's something wrong with the light levels and mob spawning with the new texture pack. Um, alright, alright, so moving on. Moving on. Let me get rid of these signs for now. I'm going to put them over here in case of an accident in the future. Bastard creeper. Um, well, here comes one. 
Hello, sir. We're here to replace many that have fallen before you at the hands of a creeper. Punk. All right. So yeah, I had to put I had to put this like little partition here uh, because the pigs and stuff were like you know just kind of stepping on it and like slowly suffocating them to death. I would show up sometimes, and um, I would show up sometimes and. Uh, you know, I could hear that they were like getting suffocated, or from time to time this block would be extended, like somebody stepped on it and then like glitched it out and it stayed out. So then that was my way of solving that. All right, so this thing's working relatively well, um, punk. Um, but yeah, all right, so let's go find that zombie spawner. Come over here, come over here, goodies. Oh, he isn't, they're not very damaged because the water was there. So, nah, nah. Punk. Don't you dare blow up. Alright, let me get the stuff and then we're out. I don't care if any more come out. Come on, XP. Alright, sweet. All right, let's go. Let me put these signs over there. I forgot to do that. Um, all right, that's good. It's good for now. Okay, so over here is where I found a spawner, and I didn't end up any, you know, doing anything with it. I didn't even actually check what it was. Uh, it's in here. Down this way. Down around this. There's also a dog up here. I don't know what happened to it. There's a dog sitting like right here. Just for no reason, just a random wild dog. Yep, it's a zombie spawner. Uh, let me put some light on you there. Back up. Ah, okay, there. We got one. There we got another one. There we go. All right, so we should be good then. All right, sweet. Okay, so this actually looks like an also fairly awesome cave. Alright, we'll leave that stuff for now. I'll take one bucket, actually. And then we'll let the uh, caving begin. Uh, so, um... Oh, snap. So, one thing... One thing is just that, um... I like the silk touch. Again, I, I think I mentioned this last time. I like the silk touch pick, but then I'm super duper lazy that I don't actually, like, I'll mine this stuff out, and then I'll take it back home, and then I never actually, like, break it for the resources, like, for the coal, you know? Uh, eventually, I'll have a pick that isn't silk touch, so then, you know, I'll end up using whatever resources, like, only if I really need them, then I'll break a couple, but normally I don't, normally I don't. Alright, sweet, so we know where this is at fairly simple to get back. I might end up doing a different kind of trap than the other one just for fun, but the other one's super, super helpful. And like super easy. Uh, so I might actually end up just using the same one. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Alright. We're out of there. Okay, so I found, like I said, a couple, I found a, a couple, like, little surface caves, and that's where we're going to go. And then we're going to go back to, by the, um, by the slime farm, and then go over there, and, oh, snap, man, and check the, um, check that cave that was right by the ladder. All right. God, dude, these freaking things are just running, running wild in my world. Get back. Alright, uh, so it was up this way and around. Okay. <clears throat> Get out of my way, pig. Alright, I think. No, it wasn't here. It's close to here. Bam! I mean, I do like knockback, though. When it first came out, it was one of my uh, favorite enchantments. 
uh, you know, enchantments when we first got them. Uh, but then I got like uh, really spoiled with a uh, looting, looting three and a fire aspect sword. So then I would always have like cooked meat. Uh, so then that's kind of what I always want now when I do a freaking sword. So knockback doesn't make me too happy anymore. All right. So yeah. So yeah, I need to get all this stuff lit up. I need that that uh, spawner to just oh snap. Be like a primary block. Um, be like a primary source of XP and gunpowder and um, bone meal until I can get an actual skeleton spawner, which are the freaking best ones. All right. Anything here? Nah. God, I hate it when the sand is like that. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot I enchanted another pick. Yeah, I enchanted another pick for the mining ex uh, expedition. So I can actually, like, get some XP as I'm going around this stuff with you guys. And it was actually an awesome pick. Check it out. Efficiency 3 on breaking and fortune. All right. All right, so these little baby caves weren't actually nothing special. How do I get out? How do I get out of here? Oh man, I'm lost. All right. Yeah, and uh, you know, I used to use the uh, like the torch technique. Uh, Cause I remember a subscriber said something like that. Like, uh, I used to do the whole like torch on the right. Oh man, torch on the right thing. And uh, but then whenever uh, whenever the caves start getting all like circular and and they start winding each into each other is. You know, you're basically right back in the same kind of mess. So I really got away from doing that whole thing. Not that it's a bad technique. It, it does work. Like I said, it starts getting a little trickier whenever you're, um, you know, whenever you get into those kind of like really winding caves. All right. God, I was, I was hoping that these would be a little more substantial. But no, they're pretty small. All right. Um, okay, so let's see. We'll answer one of the questions. So I have to kind of like look to my right and uh, look at the question so I can answer it. Especially with the first one because I need to actually know the answer to it. I can't just wing it. Um, so let's see. Like a boss asked, uh, what seed is this? Uh, this seed, I got this seed from just a random world I generated when I was working on like an iron golem farm. I wanted to make it in like a non-creative kind of setting uh, quite a while back and I just picked some random random seed. Um, let's see. Basically the only thing I checked for was uh, if it if it had a, you know, a village pretty much. Because uh, I guess I can reset the nether if there's no blaze spawners which is another big selling point for me. Um, but the number is uh, negative one one four seven one zero four eight three nine two six eight eight two three five one zero. All right, so that was from like a boss. All right, so again, guys, remember if we see one here, uh, an iron golem up here, I'm gonna blow this thing up. I'm that confident that this is fixed. So all I did was, you know, I set it up as I had it before. There's a flooring on the old one. I put a block at the bottom half of the uh, doors surrounding that. And then on each pod, like four blocks. And then like teeth kind of thing going around. So, um, so far it's it's worked perfectly. Alright. <clears throat> let's go. Let's go into this. Oh, hold on. I want to fight him. I know you can't hit them. But I want to try. Oh, clipped you, son. And I know I did because I have uh I have flame on. I effectively got you. And they say you can't hit them with a bow. You're yeah, right. Yeah, oh snap. Come here. Come here. I wanna look at your legs? Oh, where are you at? Alright, Morgan. Be on the lookout. These guys are shifty. I don't know what shifty means, but that's what he is. Get off the plate. Alright, alright. <clears throat> Let's go. 
let's go into this cave over here. Come here, you jerk. All your little buddies were messing with me. Punk. Alright. Hopefully this one's like more substantial. So I was disappointed with the other ones. Alright, so another question um, from Fretster1R. I guess it's actually two questions. Um, is what website do you uh, do I use for like the enchantments? Oh snap! Uh, the one that I use is called uh, like literally it's Minecraft Enchantment Calculator .com. Like all those words strung together, uh, and then you know dot com. I've had pretty good luck with it. Like if I'm not around my computer, I normally like using the website a lot more. But his other question was, you know, um, what app? And I use one called uh, Enchantment Calculator. There's another one called like Enchanty. Um, I don't really like that one because it really just tells you like, I don't know, I don't know. I didn't like the, the layout for it. But the one that I use is Enchantment Calculator. Uh, I get it from the uh, Google Play Store. It's free, and uh, it looks like a white background with. Uh, oh, this might be a good cave. It looks like a white background with like a bluish, like light blue see-through cube kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's it's not as fancy looking as as the enchanty one, um, but it, you're able to like specify what you want out of the enchantment. So that's always helpful. Like if you want something specific, or you know you're trying to hit something specific, which I think uh, on an earlier episode. You know, we hit it on the mark with the um, with the feather falling boots. All right, let me get some of this coal just because I have a quick pick and I can get some XP. Ah, uh, no, not today. Nah, horrible aim. All right, I go, I go freaking torch crazy. Oh man, this is awesome. I think we're actually gonna have a decent cave, like a little caving system. All right, uh, let's see. All right. Oh, slime. Who's that? Oh, hello there. Nah. Come here, creeper. You douche. Nah. Oh, we're in water. He can't do nothing. I mean, he can, but it's just not as powerful. Um. Let's see, next question is uh, from my friend Fix, uh, who actually had corrected me because, you know, I asked you guys to ask me questions, and then I was just answering them. Ah! I was just answering them, you know, in the comments because, you know, I, I space out things very quickly. I have, like, the attention span of a squirrel. Um, so then I had quickly forgotten that you guys were asking me questions on the comments for a reason. I was just like, hey, they're asking me questions, let me answer them. Um, but his uh, question is, like, you know, what's my you know, a favorite thing to do in survival Minecraft. Uh, and, uh, it, it's this, it's, it's, it's caving, uh, for the most part. I mean, I enjoy, I would say I enjoy building, but I'm pretty crappy at it. I mean, like, um, my, my building abilities, or lack of building abilities, are kind of like a, a running joke on the server. Because, I mean, I get really, really am pretty bad at building. Like, really bad. Um, so I can like collect resources for days and I really like doing this you know like you run into the occasional mob um, you know you're finding resources um, let me make some kind of overly obvious thing that this is leading back down uh, but yeah so this is kinda like my favorite part I like doing like traps you know like or, or building things that are like beneficial in the long run like the uh, iron golem farms Oh man, ton of cool stuff. Um, iron golem farms. Oh snap! Or gravity grinders. Um, that kind of stuff. I really like doing those. Um, you know, as projects, they give you something to do. Um, so a lot of times, like when I first started playing the game, I was always just looking for cool stuff to do. Um, you know, like farms and stuff like that. And just you know, even like redstone based stuff. But at the end of it, after it's all like said and done. Um, what I enjoy the most, I think, is, is doing this, you know? Like I said, it doesn't seem like it would be very entertaining for you guys to just kind of have me in here caving around. 
Um, but I'm sure, you know, all of you play Minecraft for the most part. You know, this is like a big part of the game. And thankfully, we eventually got enchanted stuff. Because I remember doing this without any enchanted materials. And Jesus, I can't even remember how lengthy this process was anymore. But it was lengthy. Alright. But yes, I love, I love mining. Alright, let's see. Okay, this way. Yeah, so, I mean, a big thing, um, also, you know, uh, nah! Alright, we're good, we're good. Forgot what I was gonna say. So, we'll move on to the next one. Um, let's see, uh, it is from, uh, Seth Smock. So, why did I decide to do Minecraft on Xbox? I don't know if that's worded correctly. Like, like, I, maybe I'm thinking why did I decide to do, like, videos? Oh, snap. Um, well, it's, uh, like my son, my son, um, he was the one that got me into, you know, like the game in general, like period. Um, he wanted it, uh, he had been wanting it for a while and then I just, you know, he would play the demo and I figured, you know, that's good enough because, I mean, at that time he was like five, six, no, he was like six, he had just turned six actually, so he was playing it when he was like around five, the demo, and it was like right after his birthday. Um, he finally talked me into it, which the timing is horrible, I mean, I'm just a sucker for my son, oh, snap, um, you know, it was just his birthday, I had just bought him his tablet, and, um, and I think a week before that, I, oh, snap, I think a week before that, man, I had, uh, bought him, uh, what is it, Skylanders, Sky yeah, which was a complete freaking waste of money, he didn't play that. Um, but for like two days, and that stuff was expensive, that whole like getting started pack, um, but yeah, so I, I bought it for him, and uh, obviously, you know, I was completely new at the game, and uh, so, you know, I was looking stuff up, and then in time, he just started gravitating a lot towards watching like YouTube videos, um, and you know, it was mainly Minecraft, now he just kind of watches a lot of random videos, but then, um, you know, you have people like, uh, like, he watches people like Sky and stuff that just, God, um, I mean, I can understand how kids, like, like him, you know, um, but, I mean, because he's, like, loud and annoying, and kids like that, but then at the same time, you know, he, like, cusses up a storm, and, which I really, I don't mind him, you know, watching him, uh, my son seems to be pretty well adjusted, in the sense that he knows, you know, that, what's being said is bad um, because you know in, in like normal real life circumstances he doesn't he doesn't you know say bad words or anything like that I think one time um, <clears throat> he he even spelled he was trying to spell home and again he's seven he was trying to spell home and uh, so he spelled homo and <laughs> And so I told him, I was like, hey, buddy, um, you know, make sure that you get the, the letters right because it's, you know, that's actually kind of a, a bad word in a way. I'm like, it's not really a bad word, but uh, it's not like a good word depending on how you use it in a way. And, you know, then you start crying because he used a bad word. So what happened is I just, you know, I decided to start doing YouTube because I'm like, hey, you know, I can do this. It looks fun. It looks fun. I actually found myself... Um, I don't know if you guys have ever done that or if I'm just like completely a weirdo for it But you know, I'm sure as you watch me like do videos, um, you know, you've watched other people and uh, You know, so so had I I actually found myself um, um, Found myself like pretend commentary in my head for some reason Like you know like yeah, I'm just playing by myself and I'm like in my head like commentating or something it's it's kind of weird it's kind of weird kind of weird uh, so I decided that it would be good uh, and then maybe you know um, I can try to be like a better role model in the sense of people that do these kind of videos I would you know go out of my way to not you know use like really bad language and and things like that obviously like if you've seen my Grand Theft Auto videos I mean I am an adult so I do say 
you know, naughty words. But, you know, I figured that I, with having a kid, I would know how I'm supposed to kind of act in these situations. Oh, I've been here before. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of why I started it. And, you know, it just seems like kids now, for the most part, you know, gravitate towards like YouTube instead of TV. So it's something cool to kind of be into. Uh, though my son says he won't subscribe to me until I have enough subs like Sky does. So kind of failed in that aspect. As of yet, it's not a victory. Um, we'll see in the future if I can get him to like sub to me all the way. I think he's sub to me now, but he doesn't really watch me. Uh, yeah. Uh, but let's see. Psh, next question. Hmm. What's the next question? Um, yeah, from Minecraft uh, Madman NL. Um, why don't I organize my chest? Actually, I just set up uh, like a chest system. Um, but I am like an extremely lazy person. Like in a lot of aspects. Uh, you know, even when gaming, I just hate to take the time to go and sort them out. Like I did it uh, because I know it was getting to that point where I just had so much junk. And I hate looking through like, you know, four chests to find one thing. So, I mean, I just don't do it because I'm freaking lazy, guys. Um, but I know it's annoying. I know when I've seen other people's videos, like when I used to watch videos, it would kind of like annoy me. Like, oh my god, clean up your stuff, man. So, I don't normally do it because I'm lazy and it's a pain to organize and to move everything. And to like color coded and arranged by the same types and everything. It's just kind of a pain. Alright, let's see. Oh man, this video is running a little lengthy, so let me kind of just go through and, uh, through the other questions a bit quicker. So I'm like rambling. Um, let's see. Hold on. Um, and another question from Minecraft, uh, Madman uh, NL is, uh, do I know how to get Enderman, you know, um, before you know, you get to the end for the ender pearls. Yeah, I mean, pretty much I use, um, like, as my gravity grinder becomes more efficient, which is why I made it a three high, um, it'll start producing endermen up there. Come on. Uh, and, yes, uh, like Feek said, it, it's right. I mean, if they do spawn and they do walk out onto the, like, water pad, they don't like water, so they'll teleport out. But it just ups the chances that I'll see, you know, some around my area. Uh, because the grinder is close to there. They teleport about like 40 blocks away, I believe, from there. So that's still relatively close to my house if they did spawn, um, you know, in the grinder itself. So that's how I go about it. Uh, either that or you just kind of go hunting them at night. They're really easy to tell, like, who they are um, with their glowing eyes. All right. And uh, I had a uh, sub... Uh, I think he's... From Brazil or Portuguese I assume from Brazil because it's Portuguese uh, you know if I can upload the texture pack like with horizon unfortunately no because I would I mean as inexpensive as it is uh, and I you know I do there's a point in time where like I bought like if you notice Minecraft like online you know just the legitimate game is, is free like it's a free game um, and you only you know, are, are asked to uh, pay when uh, whenever you want to play like online but, you know, if you have a good enough computer, you can go download it right now and just play the full game for free. Um, and again, then they charge you, like, if you want to just have it enabled online and whatnot. But beyond that, you can do whatever you want. Like, so, when I first um, bought uh, Minecraft for the Xbox, I, like, really, I mean, I fell in love with the game. And I really felt like I underpaid um, because, you know, it's 20 bucks and it gets updated for free. That's why, another reason, like, I never feel entitled uh, you know, like to the updates, like, oh my god, I deserve something better, or oh my god, there's so many bugs, screw you, 4J. Like, yeah, I mean, to an extent, 4J is doing a decent job, you know, with what they're, uh, with what, uh, they put out. Yeah, it has its issues, obviously. Uh, but I would honestly, like, go out of my way to, like, not screw Mojang, because again, as a company, they seem to be awesome, and I would definitely not try to jip them out of a dollar. So, yeah. I'm sorry, but not putting the pack up for download through Horizon because, well, you know, give them more money. They need more money, guys. Maybe that will get them to have a better uh, staff or something, and then we can get updates faster for not only this, but eventually when they do the PS and all that stuff. Uh, so, so yeah, so I'm not jipping 4J and Mojang. 
Um, all right, uh, let's see. Mr. Junior uh, 289 asked uh, how I came up with the BAM because I use it a lot. Uh, it was a complete, complete um, like accident. When I did my very, very first video, it was um, the how to fix how to fix the uh, double iron doors. You know how they used to be kind of janky. Um, it was that, and I don't know. It just came out. It just came out. I was like, hey, this is what we're doing. It was like my first time recording myself, and uh, and then I just said, bam, like, bam, and the crouch, bam. Uh, and then it just stuck, and then, you know, I was talking with my friend Chris, who had helped me start, like, the channel, kind of to an extent, you know, helped me start the channel. Um, I had started it, but, you know, he was helping me with, like, thumbnails and stuff, and then he was like, hey, you know, you maybe, like, you do need some consistency. He's like, something as silly as, like, the bam would maybe be something you know to have like people would know like oh Ivan does the BAM <coughs> so then it became kind of like you know th the thing that I would do to add like some consistency to my videos so like then you know, I became the BAM guy which again the guys on my server make fun of me because they said I'm gonna get sued by that cook like Emeril I think is his name um, but yeah I'm probably gonna get sued eventually by Emeril for using his trademark BAM T even says that he's got a sauce uh, called BAM sauce but yeah, that's where the BAM came from, complete accident. Uh, and let's see, uh, Charlie Y asked, what do I use to record these episodes? I use the uh, HDR, uh, well the, eight, what is it? PBR uh, Gaming Edition 2, is it? Yeah, HD PBR 2 uh, Gaming Edition. And then uh, to record the audio like at the same time live, I have to have, I have a condenser microphone attached to um, little Behringer mixer which I hate Behringer and their products uh, but again I wasn't wanting to invest a whole bunch of money uh, into this because I didn't know exactly how long I would do it so I went with a Behringer like little $35 $40 mixer and it's worked out really well actually um, and so that's what I do and then I plug it all into uh, the Xbox all the outputs uh, the sound is actually coming out separately than the video um, and then I utilize the outputs, uh, the inputs that they had for the PlayStation to then record the audio so I can do it all like live at the same time instead of syncing it later as they really kind of expect you to do. So being like an audio guy, I was able to like figure out a way to bypass that and, you know, help me uh, make these videos more fluid. Because if it involved me syncing the sound and everything, God, I probably would have just... I probably would be inclined to do less videos because then that would be more time consuming. Uh, with this setup I have, I literally just record, I uh, copy the file over to my new computer, I pop it in uh, TrackX PC which is what I used to uh, you know, uh, render it and make the file and do the add-ons and uh, then it's done. You know, So my process is really, really streamlined which is part of the reason why I do so many videos because it's so simple for me. I literally just record, uh, cut a couple little beginning parts and ending parts because I do like almost no editing, um, and then then it's done. Then it's ready, ready to be uploaded. Ah, oh, punk. Um, let's see. Nah. All right. Let's. Um. Also from Charlie Y. What's my favorite mob and why? Um. I would say like skeletons. Skeletons, because because of my tree farm it all started with uh, my tree farm my tree farm was when I started doing redstone um, and I always needed always needed uh, bone meal for my very wasteful tree machine um, and yeah so they give out they give out two very awesome things they're like they don't give out the most XP I would say maybe like blazes or like an enderman in a trap like those are awesome um, but they give out arrows which are really useful and bone meal which is really useful um, so at the end of it, it would be, it would be the skeletons. Let's see what the crap. Oh snap! That's spider. Nah. All right. Um. Hold on. I'm trying to look for the other question. Uh, and EDHC Cyclones zero zero ask what my favorite blog type is. Um, in this texture pack, I haven't like completely decided yet. Um, and like normal, you know, like vanilla Minecraft texture pack is the cracked brick and the mossy brick because bricks period make everything look really classy um, like most builds 
just look classy and uh, those are like awesome like accent blocks uh, for redstoning obviously um, I like uh, iron iron blocks whether it's in this pack or in the normal pack I just really like it never understood why people um, used sandstone or why they still use sandstone it's I don't know it's dirty looking to me it doesn't doesn't look appealing it makes everything look all yellow and weird uh, so I've never been uh, like a uh, sandstone person but yeah uh, it would be that um, and mm, let's see and he also asked what I would like to have put into Minecraft on Honest honestly everything uh, redstone related I think the biggest thing for like the kind of Minecraft that we have it would be um, like hoppers just loving to automate everything uh, you know you're able to just basically automate uh, a lot of farming stuff it, it can work by itself and do its own thing and um, yeah and you know be uh, yeah you can have like a, a mass amount of stuff and then just have it all go into the hoppers and stuff and but yeah so that would be it if I had to pick one thing it would be hoppers or anvils 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 as well man I'm gonna have to call it because I am out of torches I don't bring enough wood to make anymore um yeah anvils just for like restoring used up items I hate having to like get rid of an enchanted item um, you know because it's nearing the end of its life and with an anvil you can combine it and repair it kind of and um, last questions from scoot XD how did I get so good at redstone I'm not buddy I am like mediocre at best I have my moments I'm able to like troubleshoot uh, things for example if I find something that's for PC and it doesn't work for us I can generally uh, you know troubleshoot it and make it work I, I know my way around redstone um, but I'm not I'm not great at it I have my moments though I have my moments of clarity when I'm really really where I feel like a freaking genius and it can be like the simplest kind of stuff and that gives me that feeling of accomplishment but I mean compared to some people out there that are like truly good at it um, you know I'm, I'm mediocre at best but thank you thank you for thinking that I'm really good at it because I do try uh, I'm pretty blatant about um, you know when I do take somebody's design or if I use somebody's idea to come up with what I've done uh, I hate you know just uh, pretending I, I don't pretend that I've done something on my own if I didn't uh, there's a lot of youtubers that do uh, and it's just not my thing like if I got something from mumbo jumbo like you're gonna hear me say you know this is a mumbo jumbo thing if I got something from whoever I'm gonna give credit I don't care if the person um, oh snap I have a couple more I don't care if the person has you know um, two subscribers or you know a hundred thousand or a million subscribers uh, if I didn't like just full-blown do it myself um, then I, I do you know I do try to give credit even something as simple as seeing something in uh, somebody's world that invited me in to see it uh, if I got the the general concept I even try to you know just thank them for um, simplifying things and sometimes you know it's hard it's hard to come up with stuff especially when you have like 255 videos and like 190 of them are are tutorials you know uh, my goal initially when I did this YouTube thing was to have like the biggest uh, database for um, for uh, you know redstone uh, redstone and, and tutorials and things like that which I knew uh, would eventually come to a point where you know I would pretty much um, borrow ideas uh, but you know it gets to be a dicey subject because people will call you out on the more complicated things and nobody calls you out on hey uh, you can't do a double piston sliding door everybody you know everybody has one it's like a standard thing so whenever you want to showcase or build something that's more complicated that's you know somebody else's design then people get really like defensive about it but again I always try to be very explicit where the crap am I oh sweet back home uh, about you know about uh, if I do borrow something from somebody and I do that a lot guys and I mean if you know look at my videos uh, I do say every time uh, who I got something from so yes mediocre at best on redstone but thanks for thinking I'm awesome at it but sweet guys well that is it for our caving expedition actually we did find a pretty good caving system um, so if you like the videos always like it uh, thanks everybody for the questions and I hope I didn't just bore you 
with what panned out to be 40 minutes of rambling. But as always, subscribe up top, and peace out.